Module 1.5 Managing Acrobat Form Properties Generic Acrobat Form Properties Once form fields have been arranged in Adobe Acrobat, the properties can be edited through the Form Field Properties window. When using Prepare Form, either double click the form element or right click the form element and select Properties. Fields of any type will have General, Appearance, Position, and Actions tabs within this Properties window. We will briefly cover the noteworthy features of each tab. General The form field name can be edited in the General tab of the Properties menu. Within this tab, users can also set the tooltip text displayed when hovering the mouse cursor over a form field and other common properties. The common properties include options for form field visibility, orientation, or rotation, and the ability to toggle the form field as read-only or required. Appearance. In this tab, the form field border and input area can be adjusted for style and color. Input or displayed text pertaining to the form element can also be adjusted here for size, style, and color. Position. The position of the top left corner of the selected form field can be adjusted here based on to scale measurements. Toggling do not change height and width will move the entire form field when adjusting its position. Actions. Programmable functions for all form fields can be set in the Actions tab. Here, a trigger can be selected, such as the click of a mouse or focus of a cursor. Once an action, such as opening a web page or file, is selected for that trigger, the action can be saved by selecting Add. Contextual Acrobat Form Properties Some form field properties within Adobe Acrobat are unique to certain types of form elements. Most of these contextual features are often found in the Options tab of each form field's Properties dialog window. Text Field Properties Settings specific to editing text fields are found at the Options and Format tabs of the Text Field Properties window. The Text Field Options tab includes Alignment for aligning typed inputs within the text field, the multi line checkbox to enable multiple line text inputs, and the character limit checkbox for limiting the number of characters entered into form field inputs. The text field format tab includes forced format categories, including the special category, arbitrary mask found in the special format category allows users to input special formatting codes for text field inputs. The letter O, for example, can be typed in this options menu to limit the text field to only alphanumeric inputs. Radio button and checkbox properties. The radio button and checkbox form elements have an identical checkbox properties window. In the options tab of this window, the checkbox style can be selected from a drop down menu. Drop down menu and list box properties. Users can add line items to drop down and list box form fields with the options tab of the properties menu. To add and sort line items to either form field, 1. In the options tab, type the item name under item. Select add and repeat this step for other list items. Two, to change the display order of listed items, a user can use the up and down arrows to move an item up or down the list. Also located in the drop-down menu in list box options tab, sort items can be selected to alphabetically sort all list items. The multiple selection checkbox can additionally enable multiple list items to be selected by the end user. Conclusion In this module, we've covered general Acrobat form properties as well as form properties specific to text fields, checkboxes, and list formats when editing PDF documents. 
This concludes the first unit of the Adobe Acrobat Accessibility Guide, Getting Started with Adobe Acrobat. The upcoming first module of Making an Accessible PDF will continue the tutorial series with an overview of the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines.